India's top court, while hearing the electoral bonds case today, said that it wanted all information related to electoral bonds, which are in SBI's possession, to be disclosed. Senior advocate Harish Salve, appearing for the State Bank of India, told the Apex Court that alphanumeric numbers of the electoral bonds would be provided to it. An application was filed in the Supreme Court seeking a direction to disclose the details of the electoral bonds which were sold between March 1, 2018 to April 11, 2019. This request has been dismissed by the Supreme Court. Earlier, the Election Commission of India has uploaded the data received in digitized form from the Registry of the Supreme Court on Electoral Bonds on its website. The second list of electoral bonds made public reveals how much funding each political party received and what part of it had they received during the financial year 2019-2020. Let's break it down the party-wise list of who received how much. The Bharatiya Janata Party and cashed electoral bonds totaling to around $800 million. Trinamool Congress received around $168 million through electoral bonds. This makes them the second largest recipient after BJP. Congress became the third largest recipient, redeeming a total of $161 million through electoral bonds, while the Bharatiya Bharat Rashtra Samiti became the fourth largest recipient through electoral bonds and cashing bonds worth around $159 million. In the fifth place came in Dravida Munetra Kazaga, which received $79 million through electoral bonds. Landing sixth was the Majwadi Party. It got around $16 million via electoral bonds. The parties handed over this electoral bond data in sealed covers. The parties that only revealed to the Election Commission the number of electoral bonds and the amounts received through them are the BJP, Congress, the Bharatiya Rashtra Samiti, while the DMK, ADMK and Janta Dal Sakula have named the donors in their submissions. In this, the DMK revealed that around $6 million came from Lottery King Santiago Martin's Future Gaming. Meanwhile, filings by the Bahujan Samaj Party, Communist Party of India and Communist Party of India Marxist and AIMIM showed no receipts via electoral bonds. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.